How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be showing you all how to unlock this 90 overall rookie Honus Wagner that was just released into this player program today. You get this card by completing all of the moments and beating the Pirates on all-star difficulty. That is probably the easiest way. You could also complete these online missions and exchange outfielders if you would like to uh, not complete some of those missions. But I'm going to be going through them and talking about some tips and tricks on what I did to complete these if you guys haven't done so already or if you guys are struggling a little bit with these moments. I also wanted to bring up an idea or a thought that I kind of had about this Honus Wagner. I think that it might be important to unlock this rookie Wagner because SDS could always release future stages with that Honus Wagner and potentially uh, include it as like a evolution style of a program and uh, ultimately lead to 99 overall Honus Wagner. Uh, they could also include the collection type of thing last year where we had to collect a bunch of different cards. That could be kind of a gatekeeper for stage three or stage four. Uh, in order to get to those stages, you would have to collect some of those, uh, some of the rarest cards in the game, and that's how Honus Wagner would remain an extremely rare card and very expensive while still being included in the program. It's just an idea, it's just a thought. It's something that I wanted to talk about during this video as I'm completing these missions and moments. Uh, one thing that really helped me with these missions and moments was really just power swinging. I felt that this Honus Wagner has a good amount of power, more so than the Jackie Robinson, even though they're right around the same. I just felt like the ball jumped off his bat a little bit easier. So some of these moments are pretty simple. Some of them are just one game moments where you have to tally a couple hits, a couple extra base hits, maybe a hit and a stolen base. Uh, tally total bases. So with that being said, there are always strategies that you can do for each and every mission. So I'm going to talk a little bit about them in this one. This is a total base mission. So I'm going to try to take every single bag I can. If I hit a single, I'm going to try and stretch it to a double, regardless if I'm going to get thrown out. Here I went for third base and ended up getting thrown out. But we do get the two total bags towards this mission. So that's going to be nice. Now we just need one more double top of the fifth inning after I popped up to center field. Stanton misses this ball out in left field and we get two doubles to complete that moment. You can do it a variety of ways. You can do these moments all, all kinds of ways, I, I would say. I think that uh, playing at Polo Grounds, you can always hit the ball into the gap, get the extra bases that way. Uh, and this one, I'm power swinging. We pull it down the line and I'm hoping I can get to uh, second base, but there's really no point to risk it. Sometimes, depending on the moment, there's no point to get yourself thrown out, especially if you need a stolen base in this sense or if you are trying to get more at-bats. If you get thrown out on the bases, sometimes the CPU will hit a little bit worse and you won't get as many at-bats in the game. The more times you get on base and drive in runs, it seems like the more times you have an opportunity to have more at-bats. If you notice, uh, as this pitcher was picking me off, as I'm leading off first base and second base, I am holding the left stick towards the bag that I am on. So that way, if they do pick me off, then my guy will automatically just dive back to second base or first base. And that way, I won't get picked off while trying to steal that bag. So we were able to complete that mission. This next one is tally three base hits, including an extra base hit. I would recommend trying to get the extra base hit out of the way first. In this specific game, I didn't get the extra base hit until the second at-bat. I did get a base knock in the first at-bat though. So if you don't, I would recommend just restarting it. Since this is a single game moment, you want to try to knock out the extra base hit in the first couple at-bats. So that way you don't have to try to clutch up in your last at-bat or last two at-bats to get that extra base hit already having three hits in the game if that makes sense so luckily we hit the ball over the center fielder's head I thought he was going to catch that one and I was going to have to restart it but in this next one we do have to uh, tally six or seven hits I believe with three extra base hits in a total of seven games so this is pretty easy I mean as you can see here it started me off with the guy on base I hit a single and tried to go to second it still only gave me a single so I, yeah it is seven hits and three extra base hits that's not bad at all these moments are uh, pretty straightforward. I just wanted to explain to you guys what I'm doing. I'm almost power swinging each and every at bat, regardless if I need an extra base hit or not, just because Honus Wagner has really high contact, really good vision, 
and his swing is also really good. I think that his swing might be even better in this year's game than it was last year's game, and he had an amazing swing. I mean, a quick two-handed swing from the right side, but I think that it's his load. I'm not quite sure. I mean, I've only tried out the card using him in these moments, but I think it's his load and the way he kind of just moves his hands through the zone. But anyway, uh, end up completing this multi-game moment with the home run. A great opportunity for the opponent to not rob me or uh, make a diving play. That also happened a couple times in these moments. In this final mission here, we need four total bases, or actually six total bases, my mistake. We get four right on the very first swing with the home run. That is ideal. That is exactly what I need. Now we just need a double or a couple base knocks to finish off this moment and then all we will have to do left is play the pirates on all-star i'm actually not going to take you guys through that game uh, my tips on that would be to try to get you know five or six runs and then just bunt uh, get yourself out on the bases to make the game go a little bit quicker you can also complete daily missions pretty easily by just either using position players from a respective team or using position players from a respective team as well so with that being said, I was able to complete these moments here, tallied six total bases, went three for three, a home run, and two singles, beat the computer on all-star, and unlocked the 90 overall Honus Wagner. I figured for the remaining portion of the video, I would hop into the live series event to try to earn a couple packs. We do have a three-pack bundle, if that even is a thing. I guess technically it would be a bundle, but a three-pack reward for earning 40 wins in this event i'm at 38 wins right now so i'm hoping to just get a game or two in real quick i'm gonna take the day off from streaming today just because i wasn't really feeling that great when i woke up i kind of just want to rest up play some games off stream and also just take a break from the game in general because i have been playing so much showdown recently i've probably finished it 20 times within the last three days or so trying to grind out these team affinities i wanted to mix it up with the content a little bit and provide you guys some online gameplay there is going to be a moonshot event coming out as well i talked a little bit about it in my previous video and the moonshot event at least from years past would consist of uh the best hitters in the game like 99 overalls were always included really any hitters you want sometimes there is a power threshold for some of those hitters so that is something to keep in mind as well but also we're going to be probably facing bronze or common pitchers in years past it's been all commons this year i think that they might go with bronzes just because the game plays a little bit differently it would be really tough to get hardly any outs on uh, all-star difficulty with common pitchers and really it has always been hard to get outs in the moonshot event anyway so i won't be surprised if bronze cards aren't included but I, uh, I think that they will be. Just a couple of things I wanted to talk about in this video. Talk about my prediction with Honus Wagner. Talk about the upcoming stuff in the game. I'm really excited for the Moonshot event. I'm going to be able to prestige Mickey Mantle. I'm going to be able to make progress towards prestige Craig Biggio maybe. Depending on if the threshold is at 80 power against both sides. That will kind of uh, make a difference. That will make a big difference for a few of those types of cards. But I'm excited to work on Prestige Gary Sheffield. I already have Prestige Chipper Jones. But I think the main guy I'm going to focus on is Mickey Mantle in the Moonshot event. As well as uh, maybe picking up some new guys to try out for that event. That will be pretty cool to try out some, uh, some brand new cards that are coming out. I really think Stage 3 Team Affinities will be released soon. So if you notice at the top right, I have 600,000 stubs. I recently sold... A bunch of guys. I sold McCutcheon. I sold Granky. I sold Felix Hernandez, the boss from the third inning program. My mistake, fourth inning program. I sold a bunch of players that I could simply because I know we're going to get 30 really high tier diamonds and they are all going to be free. So I might invest some stubs into some gold players for exchanges or in order to flip. But I'm also saving up my stubs for potential players coming out through world series rewards through upcoming programs i want to get some of the best legends in the game right away i want to have them on my team if there are 12 and 0 br rewards like willie mays or something like that i want to be able to have the stubs in order to get those cards right away without having to go 12 and 0 without having to uh 
put a lot of time into grinding out the game just want to be able to get those cards off the market when they are released so with that being said we do have a couple packs here didn't really pull anything maybe a couple gold cards but i have uh i've pulled a, a few diamonds a few diamonds recently it's been kind of a dry spell uh the last few weeks or so but pulled cody bellinger out of the flash sale pack pulled kirby yates yesterday and uh pulled a few diamonds out of these free team affinity packs in general but i am going to be saving up this ducks on the pond pack hopefully that's a rare round player but that's going to do it for this video thank you all for watching i'm college lefty and hopefully i was able to help you with honus wagner if you haven't finished him already peace out